90s because... Uh, <laughs> Well, he's going to uh, have to uh, be... Yeah, I mean, there's a height difference, and he's come up from 90s, and I know that he only uh, weighs 95 kilograms. His tall body, quite low. You can see that he's, uh, he has uh, the posture, you know, with uh, the hips backwards. It's like, I mean, you, you have somebody with a good technique there. If you can kill it first time, then the second, third, and fourth, it's never quite the same. No, but... Um, until now, Kukoye is doing a great job. Yes, he's uh, tactically playing it well. And uh, two times now, Fonseca has... Uh, after two or three minutes, it's getting a bit less. And... Yeah. Uh, can you imagine that? I mean, going yeah. up from 90 kilograms, you have no chance of going at 90 uh, mm -hmm. kilos for your, for your country. Free. You come up a weight category and you're in the final of the World Championships. Oh, oh that's going to be a score. score. Was Ari on the board for Fonseca? Koya actually tried to get the, the left hand. He was all, uh, only fighting for the sleeve. This was the first time that Kukoya opened up a little bit. He wanted to try this left big hip throw of him himself and directly... Yeah, but th this is what he wants, Neil. Uh, Wazari on the board. Uh, Kukoya has to come now. So there's the left hand. Can he throw in the hip throw? Yes, uh, such a strong hip throw. We saw it against uh, Lee Portoliani. Now he's got it. Now he's got it. Is he going to use it now? He's going to look for the Uchimata. Now the change for the Sumageshi. Well, they're not allowed to coach while they're actually fighting. It's got to be in the, on the mates in, in between. Well, both a little bit of tactics in. Now he's over the top here, Kikulia. But... Um, Great uh, breaking of the grip from Fonseca. This left arm of Kukoya! Oh! <laughs> Throw of the tournament. Unbelievable. That was amazing. Look at him, and there's the dance, of course. Double world champion, Fonseca. That was an amazing change of direction there from Fonseca. It was. And, uh, uh, well, I mean, you've got to say, haven't you, Kukoya... was uh, completely sold on it. He was expecting the big technique to the front and uh, he just switched it to the Kouchi. Ippon, every single match. Yeah, and what a Ippon. Unbelievable. Winning, winning a, a final like this. Well, of course, we know Fonseca is the big thrower. Yeah, he's the man of the moment, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, we love it. We will see a bit of dancing. That's what we always see when he wins. Here he goes. <laughs> but um, it was, of course, the Vasari from Fonseca. When Kukoya opened up a little bit, straight uh, the Vasari for Fonseca. That brought him in such, well, in the driver's seat, you know. He knew Kukoya had to come closer to him. Yeah, this, this was the first Vasari. So Sodi sort of come gosh there and uh, right the way underneath and uh, like you say, turned his hips in towards him and uh, it got him a, a little bit more of a, a purchase on it and took him over. Now look at oh. that. What a change of direction there for the Kouchi. Pulls first of all, look at the pull and then his head absolutely hits the chest and uh, he just blasts him backwards. Oh. Well, sometimes uh, when I'm sitting with my dad and we're watching judo, I so can watch two or three hours of not so good judo if I see one throw like it. Uh, this is the way, yeah, well, he knows where the camera is as well. <laughs> the big crane, we have so many cameras, we can see everything in all the directions. This man is double world champion. Double world champion, and he did it in absolute style. And you know, you said that sometimes you can see it and he's not uh, quite on the form. Twice in two world championships, look at that. Look at the, Georgians, the yeah. Georgians are celebrating as well. Portugal.